I woke up uh, pretty early this morning. I usually try to sleep in on Saturdays, but um, it's my day off, and um, you know I like to get up and uh, do the morning chores, water my um, water my plants around the house, water my garden, check for check for snakes around the property, make sure you know it's uh, pretty safe for my dogs and my kids. Um, you know I woke up early just because you know I'm never really a good sleeper, but. Um, you know, especially come close to the fight time, all I'm thinking about is Brian Bowles. So, it's just um, really going through my head quite a bit. Yeah, I'd say it's a little bit of both, actually. Um, there is a little bit of fear there. And um, the main thing is, is, I just don't let my fear control the way I perform. I just let it keep me cautious. And um, I think fear is a good thing to have in a fight. And I think if you don't have fear, you know that it's not a good thing and um, honestly tell you the truth I think when people say they're not afraid um, kind of lying a little bit because I think it's a human re human nature just kind of human emotion that comes along with fear in a fight and um, excitement definitely and um, anxiety along with it you know comes with the fight just because you know I'm coming up um, on uh, nine weeks in this camp right now. I just finished up my ninth week of training and um, I've put a lot into it. So I wanna definitely perform well and I put a lot of pressure on myself to, to do that. So all the anxiety is there for it. You know, my training has changed up quite a bit actually. Um, I used to not take any days off or I just used to take uh, one day off, which is kind of what I take now, but I also, now I have two half days, which kind of makes up for just only having one complete full day off. Um, then I went to switching up. I've switched it up where I just took the weekend off, you know, to give myself a full two days to recover, but then I felt like I was starting to kind of, um, you know, not get the, you know, quality rounds in. I was still getting the rounds in and putting in the hard work, but I didn't feel like it was as good quality because my body was just so tired. And that's why I take Thursday night off, just so I can recover for Friday, uh, get a good Friday session in. So I feel like I really have um, matured as a fighter and, you know, just kind of really figured out what works for me. Okay, you head to the premiere barbershop here in Tucson. It's called London Town Barbershop. It's awesome. You know, these guys, they've supported me. They've actually been sponsors for me since I was, when I was a Rage in the Cage fighter. And they've just kind of um, really, you know, really been a good support, you know, good support business, local support business from here in Tucson. Um, these guys love fighting, you know, we talk it up. Oh man, I'm so pumped up. I can tell. I've, I've never been so motivated, you know, so excited for a fight, man, in my life, man. It's just such a huge opportunity. Yeah, this is definitely, I would call it um, kind of, you know, a ritual type thing that I do. Me and my son, we go, we get cut up. I'm gonna get a, um, like a faux hawk, I guess they would call it. A little different though. You know, it's something that fits my head. I don't let anybody cut my hair but Gabe. So, Gabe is the owner of the shop and um, I don't let anybody touch my hair besides him. Uh, Peyton's gonna get uh, same thing, faux hawk. He'll probably end up getting a Superman haircut or whatever Leo does. Uh, Leo is the one who cuts Peyton's hair. We go to uh, two different, you know, we, well we have two different um, barbers, same shop at London Town. But uh, Leo's the one who does the etchings in the head and um, he does all the designs. So, kind of like to keep it fresh for Peyton, give him something excited to be about. He's had, I think this is going to be like his fourth haircut and he loves getting his haircut. So far, so good. So, hopefully, it just kind of stays that way and um, hopefully, he'll really enjoy getting his haircut this time too. Oh, yeah, the beard's coming off today. And I'm very excited about it. This is the longest my beard's ever been. And I'm very excited to get it taken off and give myself a nice, new, clean look. You know, when I look good, I feel like I perform good. So, it just kind of goes um, hand in hand.
I don't I don't really cut my hair too much. I don't stay too well groomed. And, you know, people ask me, man, what's up with that beard? What's up with your funny haircut right now, man? You know, because I probably um, my appearance, you know, is kind of off. But I tell people, hey, look, I already got a hot wife. You know, I'm not. I don't have nobody to impress. You know, I got a hot little wife. So, you know, I'm I'm set. Does she mind the beard at all? <laughs> you know, it's hard to tell. She says she doesn't. She says she likes it. But that woman just loves me so much that you know, who knows? Maybe she doesn't want to hurt my feelings. But um, <clears throat> you know, the great thing about my wife is I know that she loves me for you know who I am and um, not what I look like because um, she's definitely out of my league. So I don't know how I got so lucky.